Welcome back guys, uh, this is Chenling Mountain in, uh, it's actually in the middle of Gui, Guiyang City, I think most cities it seems in this province have mountains in the middle which is kind of amazing. It's a big place, there's a few places of interest that I want to have a look at, um, let's get going see what we can find. It's actually one of the most popular tourist spots in, in Guiyang. There's also a lot of monkeys or macaques on this mountain. I've seen a few so far. I'm a bit wary of them, to be honest. Might steal my camera. <laughs> And that's the, uh, the main city. That's where I'm staying, somewhere, somewhere in there. Very misty day today. Uh, I think it's gonna clear up those skies. A bit of blue sky breaking through now. Still quite early in the morning. All right, I'm on top of the, uh, well, actually there's a few peaks in this mountain park area, but I think this is the highest one. Sweaty hot walk, it's pretty nice though. Um, just saw, actually didn't see many people. There's a few, few old, Elder gentlemen who just walked down who were they did a good job hiking up here because they were you know they were well in their well in their seventies, even pushing eighty I think. But uh they looked pretty happy about what they were doing. Um yeah, cool. Also, as well as the monkeys in this uh this this mountain park, there are there are apparently pandas as well. Although unlike the monkeys, they're not wild, obviously. But um yeah, let's go and see some pandas, I think, if we can. My money is on them being asleep as pandas usually are, but let's go and have a look anyway. Very little narrow steps for uh, my big feet. Should probably watch where I'm going and not film. <laughs> Some serious monkey action around here. Have a look. Oh, he's cute. Look at that little baby. Oh. Anyway, they're all being fed and stuff. I don't really want to bother them. Um, they're like, particularly not afraid of humans. I guess very used to it. pretty wild that. <laughs> um, seeing that movie though, you know, these suckers are gonna take over. <laughs> they're actually quite intimidating, like when they walk, because they're, they're not at all bothered by people, obviously they're very used to people here, there's loads of people in this mountain every day. Um, but they, you know, if they, if they catch your eye, they're just like, they look like they're, gonna, they're just gonna steal your camera and punch you in the, punch you in the nuts. <laughs> Whoa, down from the mountain now. Let's see if we can see some pandas. I hope they're awake. There's a, for those of you who've traveled much in China, obviously the, the famous panda place is not this province, it's nearby, it's in Sichuan province. Um, it's where most pandas are from in China. Most, not all. And uh, the panda place in, in Chengdu is amazing, man. And I've been there three times, I love it. <laughs> They're so cool. Well, I can't see any pandas in here. Where are they? They're probably... They're probably inside. Air-conditioned room. Watching TV. They live a pretty good life in China, pandas. <laughs> they get taken care of pretty well. Little girls armed with some bamboo. I'm gonna go and feed a panda. Oh, ooh, ooh, maybe, maybe. Let's have a look. 
As expected, asleep. <laughs> right, let's see if uh, Xingbao, the four year old panda, star baby, is going, oh, people are cheering, maybe he's up. <laughs> no, looks very asleep to me. I'm not sure if you can even see through the reflection. It's another very sleepy panda. <laughs> Uh, you tell him. The little girl's telling him the panda to get up, get up, get up, you lazy sod. I agree, get up, man. Can't sleep for 20 hours a day. <laughs> and there you go, two sleepy pandas. It is what they do, though, to be fair. They're pretty famous for it. Just like that, back in the throngs of people. Um, yeah, it's a nice, quite a nice little walk. That it was five five renminbi to get into the into the park, which is not a lot. It's less than a pound, about sixty p or something like that. Um, and to be honest, there's a lot to see. There's a very nice temple, which I've paid an extra two pi for. Um, and obviously there's a zoo and stuff like that and a lot of people singing very standard standard practice in China singing and dancing <laughs> right I'm gonna head out um, I'm gonna head out and go and see what else I can find it's got a pretty good vibe this city you know it's busy and it's bustling it's got a good mix of like old and old and new. Hey buddy, it's a nice place to sleep. <laughs> Guizhou is actually one of the poorest provinces in China, and has been, you know, forever basically. It's a very, uh, it's a deep south mountainous region. It's a huge. Um, ethnic minority population here. About a third of the province um, are non-Han Chinese, and um, over 50% of the province is actually autonomous regions uh, for the different ethnic minorities that live here. But this city is great. Um, I don't know, I've had such a great time here. People have been so welcoming to me. The only slight issue I've had so far um, in the province, particularly when I was in, in the north, in Zuni, was, uh, to be honest, a lot of hotels just not taking foreigners at the moment. Um, so that's been a bit of a <laughs> pain in the ass, I suppose, but c'est la vie. Can't be all good, can it? <laughs> I've had a really, really great time here in, in Guayan, um, but it is time to leave. Super noisy, like so much noise. Um, it is time to leave, so um, I'll see you in the next video when I'll be in much quieter surroundings, I hope. All the best, take care, bye-bye.